Each of us have our own creative journey. And for me, my journey started late one day in June 2019 when I purchased my GoPro Hero 7 White. During that time, my family was planning an unbelievable hiking trip to Israel, and I really wanted to document our 1,000 kilometer hiking adventure. Um, so over the next three months, while we were hiking in Israel, I captured our life, the lives of our friends, uh, us swimming in beautiful crystal clear oceans, climbing up crazy rugged mountains, hiking across insane deserts, cooking our food on fires, pitching our tents in beautiful lush grass, and uh, walking the length of Israel. When we arrived back in Uganda, I put all my footage onto a laptop and I sifted through it, and I just couldn't believe that I had successfully captured our trip and that it was immortalized on film for all time. I was so pumped about it, it was, it was really amazing. So I continued to take some video and some pictures on my GoPro and gradually began to document my life here in Jinja. This continued and photography became something I began to become interested in. So in January 2020, at the beginning of this year, I took a photography course and I learned how to use a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. And this is when things really began to get serious for me. I took pictures of all sorts of things from then on, and eventually the GoPro wasn't enough. I just wanted to get a real, hands-on DSLR or mirrorless camera, which would give me the abilities to take the kind of pictures that I wanted. By the end of February, my parents came back from a short trip to the States, and they brought with them a gift that really changed everything for me. An old friend of our family had generously given me a Nikon D70 DSLR camera, and a bag full of photography equipment such as lenses, tripod, all of those sort of things that are needed. So from then on, I snapped tons of pictures. I learned how to edit them using Adobe Photoshop, and I started a photography page on Facebook to allow me to share my pictures with others. Eventually, coronavirus locked down the country of Uganda. And during this time, my dad, who's a pastor here, had the idea to make a bunch of devotional type videos and share them online for our church here to watch. Because I was the one who knew the most about cameras in our family, he asked me to make the videos. At first, I was pretty hesitant. I wasn't sure that I'd be able to do it with the equipment that I had, but I said I would try my hardest. Now, my Nikon is a pretty great camera, but it doesn't shoot video at all. And I didn't know how to get a professional look using my GoPro at that time. So my dad borrowed a Canon EOS Rebel T4i from a friend. And we just got together and we started filming. For this project, I learned how to edit video using Premiere Pro. I learned how to set up the camera. I learned how to keep it stable, uh, how to use a tripod correctly when filming, all those sort of things. And uh, with all that knowledge, we created some really great devotional videos. When this project was over, I was really sad to see that video camera go. And although I was happy to have my Nikon back, I realized how much I had enjoyed making videos. And I didn't really want to stop. So I looked at what I had and I took my GoPro and I started filming things again. Eventually I was making videos of all my different adventures, but nobody besides me ever got to see them. So on May 21st, 2020, I did something that changed my life once again. I started a YouTube channel. Now this is something that I had thought about before. I've always watched great YouTubers like Peter McKinnon, a friend of mine named Luke Vanderberg, all of those sort of things. I've watched their videos, I've always enjoyed them. And I never thought I could be at the same level of these sort of people and that I would ever have anything good to share. But I started the channel anyway. I made video after video and I worked hard to try and produce content that people might like or find useful, but also things that I enjoyed, things that I found cool. The thing is, I had no idea when I first picked up that GoPro, the photography and cinematography would become such a huge part of my life. And I wanna thank everyone who's been part of this journey with me. I couldn't have done it without you.